I bet it's gonna sound great with the wind blowing. Good morning y'all, Andrew here from Funky Feathers Homestead. And today I'm gonna do a little bit of an unboxing here. We ordered a brand new Premier One electric net, 164 feet. This is gonna go around our garden area and give the chickens a chance to work on the entire area of the garden instead of just the little hundred foot net that we have going. If you're not familiar with Premier One, I'll leave a link down in the description and put a card somewhere here to their YouTube page so you can find out more information about them. I'm gonna get cracking on this because I really want to set it up. So we already have the solar energizer that will be able to run both of our nets simultaneously. The one that we had, the IntelliShock 60, is rated to handle up to five nets. Well, they didn't waste any of the packaging here. That's awesome. What do I got here? Ooh, thank you. Cut this label out so you can see exactly what it is that we got. 164 foot. This is the 12 48 by 3. That means it's 48 inches tall. The wires are spaced every 3 inches. I think the hot wires every 12. I think that's what that means. Uh, I, I don't know. Go to the website. All right, and according to the shipping, this was 27 pounds. I don't believe it. I think that was with the box included. Once you learn how to roll these up properly, like, it's super easy to move. I really haven't had much of a problem moving them. It did take me a little while to figure out what they were talking about in the videos on how you're supposed to move them. Once I got there, super, super easy. So, yeah, a little closer up here. So these are the bottom posts, all right? You can see each post has two little spikes that go into the ground. Now these serve a du dual purpose. Obviously they're to hold the net up, keep it in place and keep it from rocking around. But the electrical current also comes out of these spikes to return back the energizer to close the circuit. So you have to keep the, the grass trim nice and low, which this time of year, is, that's really not a problem. And if you have sandy soil like we do, the fence doesn't hit as hard. That's just bottom line. We could do the shocker knot fence. Uh, we decided against that because A, it's a little more expensive and and B, we couldn't get it in the length that we needed for this particular area. If you are gonna do backyard chickens, if you're gonna do pasture rays, I highly recommend these Premier One nets. They are amazing. So anyways, thanks for watching this little unboxing video, my first one. Uh, I hope you all liked it. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. It really helped motivate us to continue to do these things. So this is Andrew from Funky Feathers Homestead and see you on the next one. Bye.